the areas that were out the longest we've tried to get to first and also we've tried to restore the circuits where the where the most people are to get the most people back up. Could you have thrown more people at this problem? In other words, brought in other workers from other areas? It was an all hands on deck situation. But this is not so. like a, a, you can't be pleased with this though. Well, I don't think anybody is very happy with a prolonged outage, but we do have crews on 24 hours yeah. a day. They're doing the best they can. But part of the issue, again, is that there that obstruction. So There's so much damage. Yeah. And just trying to get our equipment to, to fix those lines and to those areas and to access those areas, that's been the biggest challenge. For right. We just want to make sure that everybody is safe. So take 10 minutes to just check your cords uh -huh. and make sure you don't have debris in the way and you don't have that box that's going to fall on you from the closet, you know, when you step on do you see all these refrigerators? They are energy hogs, and we want to get them off the grid. So what Southern California Edison is doing is we are offering to come pick them up at our customers' homes, pay them $50 for the pleasure, and then we'll just bring them back and crush them, get them off the grid. Uh, Southern California Edison would like people to know that compact fluorescent bulbs, or CFLs, the little curly ones, are so much better than previous generations. When you get your air conditioner tuned up, it's going to run about 30% more efficiently and it'll last about eight years longer. If you're in trouble, if you are behind on your bill, please don't wait till the last minute. As soon as you want to get a power strip, plug everything into the power strip and turn it off because that could be costing you $86 Ooh. a year in wasted energy costs. It's one o'clock. Oh, here she goes. Just jump on in.